answers. Hello? Hey Dawson. Hello? How's it feel being in second place? <laughs> you got another one? I got a really small pop. Yeah. Dang. Yep. Still yeah, in a dirt hole. Like a very formal dirt hole in a field. Really? Yeah. yeah. This one's got real nice colors. It's still in the trap. I just ran back to the truck to I'm filming right now, film your reaction. <laughs> no, that's uh is it you think it, is it a male or well, you haven't checked on it? Um I wouldn't doubt it's a male. He almost pulled the stake out. Really? Yeah. Must have been jumping up and down a bit, but Are you single stake? Yeah. Uh, see, I double stake just because I'm worried about that. Yeah, he pulled it out probably three or four inches. Wow. Um, wow. So I'm going to call the guy that set these traps with me and see if he wants yeah. to come down and look at it. How's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Um, you want to come and look at a coyote? Where are you? In the field. Yeah, I'll be right there. Cool. Sweet. So Molina and I just walked down to the first of the two sets at the field and we've got coyote number two in a very formal dirt hole and finally it worked. I was kind of weary on this. I don't know if this might be like two or three checks on this one. I was kind of getting worried. I, we were coming to pull them anyways and we were walking across the field. What if we do if we have one? Like, well, we're going to have to walk all the way back to the truck to get the catch pole or the, the 22. But um, Matt, that came out and videoed us setting them. Matt, thanks for filming. You're going to be here in a minute. But um, hopefully Molina or Matt will film the uh, at the site. And uh, we'll get some pictures. It's raining out pretty nasty. Um, all the rivers are practically flooding. Um, not overflowing, but they're nasty. So, um, it's definitely a young one. I'd say like 20 pounds probably. I haven't picked it up yet, but um, we're going to have Matt run over here and go grab it. Okay. All right, so we got coyote number two here. Um, he lifted up the stake a little bit, so um, I know that I gotta make some bigger stakes next time. Full uh, front right foot catch. Um, we're going to get it dispatched and give you a better look at it. All right. Molina and Ian catch a beaver. So this is the set that I put in last night. Bang, we got one. Let's go see how big he is. Oh my goodness, Molina. <laughs> it's a big one. Take him out of the trap. We'll give you a better look at the truck. Um, we're going to throw a pocket set in right behind us anyway for uh, mink and uh, coons. So, cool. Let's go. First one of the year. Um, we're going to drop a uh, bit of barbecue sauce and a piece of uh, some stuff I made last week in there. It's just a little old in the fridge. And then some... Uh, anchovies that I mixed up and boiled or uh, kind of cooked off in some oil last night so it smells a lot like fish all over the bank there that'll spread around and hopefully bring in a mink mink or a raccoon we have it staked off on a drag down there and it's deep enough so that when they swim out they'll drown perfect Good deal. Let's uh, go get the setters at the truck and we'll take that beaver out. Here's that beaver. Pretty big one. Um, I don't think he'll be my biggest. <laughs> he might be close though. My biggest back in high school was 54 pounds. This is all of 40 at least. So one night catch. We're gonna uh, put him right in the sled for Molina to tow back up to the truck for me. Good luck. <laughs> Don't do anything. 
Oh, that's going in. <laughs> it's going in the film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big pot Nelly Beaver. Weighing her down. That thing's like ginormous. It's a big beaver. How many more are we gonna get? I don't know. What the heck? Yeah, so that's their toenails. Pretty crazy, isn't it? That's a weird one. Okay, so we're gonna drop in a um, set here. You wanna pass me that bucket? I'm gonna drop in a Martin trap real quick. Say a uh, carcass. Stay a uh, wire through it. On well, my 155s like this in the cages, I'll do the second um, trigger setting so there's a little play. My cable fell somewhere. All right, I just want to show you guys the two sets we just dropped in this culvert. I think they're going to work like a charm. Show you one from one side, one from the other. We've got a trap right there. Bait back in the um, pocket and then inside the culvert. So inside the culvert on this side, we've got a 110 blocking that side. See if this bucket will fit. Beaver number two here, a little bit smaller than the first, but still a good one. I don't know, 25, 20, somewhere in that range. We'll, uh, we'll get it out of the trap, then we've got one more down there. We'll remake this on the way back through. What? This trap's not even set off, they chewed it right in half. Chewed my stick right in half. I guess I didn't like that stick. Now it's war. I will catch these beavers. I guess I don't like if that If it's stick. the last thing I do. I've only got one trigger wire on there, unfortunately. So. And I got to expect the water to drop a bit. I'm gonna brace it with my foot. And do the same on the other side. So essentially, between the jaws, I'm dropping it between the jaw and the spring to block it in there real good. All right, here's the uh, remake. Moved it from that channel because it was a little wide. They have this little slide spot right there. We have a 330 right there in the center. It's down about two or three inches underwater so that when the water drops again it'll be still legal. Um, we're gonna do that. Uh, lured it up. We have to remake that 330 and then we're out of here. How's it working? Pick them right out. Nice form. It's almost like you've never done that before. That was pretty good. So this was Molina's first day on the trap line. We got two good sized beavers, one being really big, the first one there on the river. And then that second one here in this little puddle behind us. And then to top it all off, uh, the first catch of the day, my second coyote ever. Yeah, it's a young one, um, helping out the deer herd by taking some out. Um, and it was in a community where they're trying to chase after local pet dogs, that kind of thing, cats. Um, good to get them out of the area. So um, we're gonna try and find another area pretty close. We pulled all the coyote traps today because I have to work this week. And uh, sleep is a good thing. So I won't have to go out and check every day. Um, 
We're gonna check this line, probably uh, check this line Thursday. Um, hopefully we get the tent up in the driveway soon to start putting up fur, but I'm gonna probably clean skin these today the best I can, and then flesh them when I get my board up here. So, uh, great day, and we'll catch you in the next one. This is a pond that I scouted yesterday. The road is 30 yards over there. I've got a 330 blocked off the dive stick, two to three inches under the water, so when the water drops a little ways, we're still good. We got caster in the bushes, a little bit in the tree. Good to go, cabled off. Let's get out of here. This girl has been tripping all day. Forty two pounds. I was one pound off, I guess forty one, Melina guess forty eight, I think. Just probably my second best beaver I'd say. Um and then this is the coyote from today. Pretty good. Um youngsters, but I'm happy nonetheless. Amazing day on the trap line with my cousin. So cool to have her there catching my second coyote count it up and uh, we put out that many sets four Martin sets a um, couple pocket sets for mink um, a coon trap in terms of like a pocket that they should jump back in to the to the water and drown and then a otter trap in a, a 220 bucket set super pumped about the day and everything that we got to see there's a pond right here next to my house can't trap it because it's Penobscot Indian land I might do something in the river across the road and see if the beavers will cross the road and go into it uh, but they'll likely get hit in the road if I do that so it's a, uh, a toss-up nonetheless you can already see some water ticks or water bugs on these beavers so I'm gonna go to the store and get a hairbrush, brush out both of these so that they, both of the beavers and the coyotes, just so that they dry faster. <clears throat> do that, come back and start skinning. I'm gonna just do it in the back of the truck. Got a board from the dump and just uh, skin them out, just clean skin them the best I can. And then when I set up a small tent here in the driveway, get the fleshing board all set up and stuff, then I'll really get going on fleshing and putting them on boards and drying everything out so um, we got in a handful of beaver sets at three different locations took one out of a different spot so that we can study it more and potentially get into it later when uh, maybe under ice sets but we'll definitely have to use a boat to get back into that spot better um, I think the trap was a little bit too far away I also don't know where this one came from at that the location that this guy was at so um, amazing day so bunch of stuff to unpack from the truck unfortunately but that's part of the game I'm gonna start clearing a spot in the uh, shed here to put stuff in when we're not using it and then stuff the jet sled underneath the uh, porch here but thanks for sticking along with the day it was an amazing time um, and uh, two of each. We've got to start skinning. Thanks for watching.